gluten-free relationship or a Mori Povich relationship? Oh, it's, it's, uh, it's <laughs> really I'm just trying to figure this out. Well, actually, you Zeke, know, I got there's questions. stuff like, you know, going into co-op, making enemies. Some dudes are going to attack you. It's more Eventually, like Mori. you'll be able to trade. You can, I can actually walk up to you right. and ask you to become my mentor because really? I know that I see that you know Kung Fu and I don't. So you're going to be able to teach me Kung Fu, teach me your moves. So the but mentor student is one of the main relationships we have in the game. But how do they teach the moves to each other? Yeah, no kidding. That's a, well, the, basically, when you fight, um, it all feeds in our combat deck mechanic, which we'll see a bit later on. When you fight an enemy and they attack you with an attack that you haven't discovered yet, that you don't know yet, you're going to learn it progressively. And so if I like parry that attack, you see that little icon uh, with, the, yeah. uh, with the attack that's being played? It means I don't know that attack and I'm learning it. And um, e so eventually you learn these attacks and you're able to use them in what we call the combat deck, which is an interface that's used to create your combos. And when you have a mentor, they can teach you much faster these attacks, attacks that they know. And they, it's also the only way. You start with a specific combat style. That combat style here is what we call Windfall. It's like Kung Fu inspired. It's got a special ability, which is the avoid. And, um, and, but you, so you start with a combat style. If you want to learn other ones, you need a mentor. So that, what we're seeing here is a, a mechanic that we call perfect attacks. Basically, it's really important in the game to chain attacks in the right timing. So if you attack at the right moment, if you're in the flow, you'll chain attacks faster. It's a bit kind of like the active reload mechanic in Gears of War. And it's always there in combat, so you really need to stay focused even if the action is intense, basically. And you gotta, you gotta pay attention because you do have a stamina bar. Yeah, so the stamina bar is kind of uh, the, is both your stamina for attacks, for dodges, for special moves, and your guard, your guard gauge. So when you're out of stamina, your guard is gonna be broken pretty fast. So we, ju we just saw, saw here the special ability of that combat style, which is the avoid. Uh, so you can avoid low, you can duck under high attacks, jump over low attacks, and sidestep over a vertical or thrust attack. So you really have to read the direction of the attack of your opponent to kind of um, use your special defense and, um, and gain the upper edge. Because uh, when you successfully avoid, it'll slow down your opponent. So we're just opening up a little shortcut here so that if ever we die, we can... Go back there fast. So uh, before, when you're when they were fighting, the, there was a little icon showing like a kick and like that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, that means that you're learning that attack. That okay. means that your enemy has hit you with attack that you haven't fully learned yet. Oh, there yeah. we go. And so when there's just a little plus, it means you've dis just discovered it. And once you've discovered it, you'll see that little gauge filling up on the on the around the circle. It means you're learning it. Okay, okay. And if you like successfully parry an attack, you'll learn more of it than if you just get hit by it. Right, okay. So you can just sit there and get punched in the face a few times. Like, but it takes longer, but you'll yeah. eventually go, oh, punch in the face yeah. move, I and got it. Actually, when you're fighting, <laughs> it applies for both NPCs and other players you meet. And when you fight NPCs in the world, you know, you don't want to just beat him up. You want to get these parries and get this special ability in so that you learn their attacks, you know, faster. Uh, when you see someone, when you come upon someone in the world, there's there's no what there's no indication of who they are and what they know, right? E well, this is we're actually working on the so whole social wheel aspect okay. and what level of information we're giving you as to what the level of this guy is, okay. you know, what, maybe what his uh, what uh, he what progression, you know, you there's an RPG progression system in the game, and so you invest point in different stats, which impact your basically your playstyle. Um, so actually, so this is this is a build that's currently at, uh, playable at PAX, um, and this is what we call an altar. It's a place where you can meditate to improve your stats and build your combat deck. We are, however, going to see the combat deck in a while. So the basic of the combat is what we're seeing here. So that little diamond is, the, um, is our stances system. So you've got four stances to choose from. And depending on the stance you're in, you've got different attacks that are mapped to each stance and which you can customize in the combat deck. We'll okay. see that in a second. So you can do, you can do stances that are like, like super like, ta -ta 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 -ta, yeah. and or stances that are just like, Bruh! Exactly. You can Sweet, do heavy okay. stances, light stances. Or you can do stances that loop on themselves, 
or stances that send you to a different stance is a pretty flexible system. Okay. So the, so there's like there's a, a an element of stance dancing that you can do. Oh yeah, yeah, very much so. And okay. we actually have like these sweet little animations when you switch stances, it's like, and you actually you know it's so of fluid. Like yeah. Well, the whole system is basically a stance is your orientation relatively to your opponent. So when you chain your attacks in your combat deck. The stances all match. Each attack starts in one stance, finishes in one stance. So basically, all the moves you do always match the orientation of your previous move. So it all chains basically together pretty pretty fluidly, yeah. And the, we're going to see that in a second. So No, it's really cool to see them change stances and to do like the, it's really flowy. You yeah. know, it's <laughs> it's it, and then the, this. Why are you laughing? That guy fell down oh, a hole. Oh, you're laughing at that. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, no I that guy fell down. He, he fell. fell down a hole. <laughs> yeah. My miner's guy got <laughs> holes in it. <laughs> Slapstick comedy always works with uh, GR. I am simple. GR. Does any of them do drunken monkey stuff? That's an excellent question. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's question. an excellent question. Yeah, it's an excellent question. <laughs> oh. Do you want to bring the drunk monkey back? Now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get the monkey out oh, here. He, he's drunk now. Oh man, <laughs> life is hard for yeah. that red gorilla. <laughs> Poor red gorilla, dude. Yeah, we'll see about uh, monkeys and about uh, drunkenness. <laughs> but uh, is that going to be a DLC? We'll, we'll see. We'll, <laughs> we'll see. That. It's so pretty. This guy's just—he's just backed into a corner. Yeah, yeah. Up. yeah. It's. Um, How would you have fought? If so you were the guy in the corner, what would you have done? Being you're an expert game developer, creator, you don't want to get back in a cor in the corner. So what you want to do is dodging on the side and always kind of manage the space around you. Do you watch a lot of UFC to get ideas for this? Uh, you know what? Our animators they watch a lot of different martial arts. They've all practiced. It's right. they, they all, all this wait. They all practice. No, all this they, is okay, keyframed, okay. key and actually all our animators have between like. Uh, Eight and twelve years of martial arts experience. Damn, really? Yeah, yeah, wow. If we go to the Absolver yeah. booth, yeah, and we're like, start I, I'm fight. just like, I hate this game. <laughs> Everybody's yeah, gonna start like, doing yeah. this, <laughs> and you're gonna go, that's not real. <laughs> that's from a video game, and then you're going down. No, no, and so everything is keyframe. They watch a lot of references, um, and you know, some of which are come from what's, uh, what's big the martial quickest arts novice of. move you could show me right now quickest with one what? hand. <laughs> Fastest one hand takedown. You mean, can I kill JM? Yeah, with how my can you thumb? kill JM right it's now? Mike, well, one I, I, you know, I go for the That's throat dude, right away. See, right away. exactly yeah. what he's chop. doing. Yeah. One yep. chop. Yeah, I think the throat's. No, me, yeah. mine's two moves. It's. Pocket Whoa. pepper spray. Oh, yeah, okay. that's, that's my move. Right there. There. Turn around, run, run away. Run away. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was your move. No, okay, I was so, talking about so the actually, this is, this is what we were mentioning earlier, which is the combat deck. So basically, all the we're kind of you know speeding through, speeding through it. But all attacks <laughs> have different uh, you know damage, speed, range, tracking properties, and some of them have actually special properties. They can guard break, they can avoid. So you really like kind of build your own playstyle in that interface. And so you're making your own combos? Uh -huh. Yeah. Get the hell out of here. Pretty much. That's now that uh, uh, of anything that you mentioned so far, that is pretty badass. Like, because usually you buy combos like now you can do the spin kick punch move. No, no. But you're, now you're like you spin kick if you like the punch, or you could do throat chop or like exactly. that stuff. And here we're in PvP, so we've got so it's a bit so more advanced character. <laughs> yeah, you can pull out weapons. We've got two weapons families at this stage: war gloves and swords. They're like temporary bonuses in combat. You can use them. You see these little glowing stones? We call them tension shards. You got five. This guy has a Whoa. like kind of a magic focus build, so he's got five of them, and he can use them. In the bottom left, you've got special abilities and weapons, and he can use these special shards, which fill up during combat for special abilities to take out weapons, etc. But his enemy actually right oh. here was chaining, chaining these attacks pretty fast. So, you know, I haven't seen this environment yet. Any of these environments, I haven't really. Seen no, this you armor. haven't. I've only seen that first yeah. brown city, you know, that little. Yeah. We've been running town. a closed alpha this past week, and this was the closed alpha area. This is amazing. Why, uh, what's the deal with the mask? Why does everybody wear masks? That's, uh, you'll have to play the game. Oh, oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. It's eyes wide I'm sorry. shut. Yeah. No, it's, yeah. A, it's, all, it's a sex cult right. thing. It's, yeah, it's I don't mind surprises. It's a sex cult thing. Yeah, that's it. And the idea is that when you pull a weapon out, you get you switch combat decks. So you switch to a sword combat decks, but it's still the same mechanic. Your attacks go from one stance to the other, flow together, and you still have you know parry, avoid abilities. 
So it's uh, all, yeah. Did that guy and you're controlling, you're controlling. Yeah, you like can get this arm. You can <gasps> get this arm, and you, your opponent can actually pick up your sword, which is, yeah, what he's doing. <laughs> oh. boom, boom, and I beat you up with, you know, it's his so weapon. Uh, the game's beautiful. I, so I you're controlling wanted. the stances with the sticks?